Hey everyone, this podcast is part of Story Mode, the podcast network of gamefully unemployed. You can support us and gain access to other great exclusive podcasts at patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. Oh yeah, we're killing it. Mm, we're killing it. Hi everybody. We're too- we're doing God's work. Hello, we're doing, everyone. Hi, we're doing God's work. Welcome to God's work. Mm, hi. Uh, we talk about Jesus. <laughs> no, we're not going to do any of that. No. We're not going to do any of that. Uh, my name is David <laughs> Bell. <laughs> I'm Tom Ryman. And we just watched The Last Heist. Mm. Uh, oh, no. News just in of a grisly homicide in Redondo Beach. Stick to the plan, people. We're out in 10 minutes. I'm here to make a deposit. And so it begins. Nobody move! Keep your hands in the air! Everybody stay right where you are! Where are they? In the back, in the vault. We did. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to. Okay, hold on. I, I forgot to uh, check my notes here to see who... What, what Andrew McGuire, ladies and gentlemen, everybody right, thinks so Andrew is, McGuire for this this Patreon. We just watched classic episode. We just watched classic. Although Watching that, the classics like the that, last heist. That word is doing some heavy lifting this yeah. week, guys. We have a Patreon tier where people can uh, make us watch movies. Andrew gave mm-hmm. us a, a decision um, between mm-hmm. the last heist and he never died. Both Henry right. Rollins movies really sinking our teeth into the into the the film career of Henry Rollins. Yeah, we went to, for the one with the zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes, unanimous negative ratings. Yes, <laughs> from critics, a movie that is I think available on Amazon for like a couple bucks. It's like renting, you know. It's, yeah, it's how movies work. Um, mm-hmm. It is features Henry Rollins. That's for mm-hmm. certain. Um, you've never seen it, probably. It's, yeah, it's like renting the experience of Henry Rollins throwing three of your dollars into the garbage. Yeah, so on that on that statement, Tom, what yeah. did you think of The Last Heist? This is a very, 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 very bad film. Yes. yes this it- is an excruciatingly bad film. Well, here's, okay, here's what I will say positive about it. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a garbage film. Yeah. But it was garbage enough for... For me to enjoy the garbage. Um, yeah. I don't think I would ever watch this movie a second time, but it no, was garbage God, enough no. the first time to kind of laugh at um, mm-hmm. and to kind of enjoy. Right. There were some so bad it's good moments. Like there were some the room moments. Yes, for sure. Um, and there was just gallons of fake blood, which is always fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and all of the characters are terrible, but they all get killed. Merry yeah. Christmas. That's all right. So this is about a, a heist. Um, a last heist. A last heist. A group of bank robbers who are just the worst. Um, and they yeah. rob a bank. It's a safety. It's a safety deposit. Yes. Uh, company. They, they rob a abandoned store that the filmmakers could afford to shoot in. Um, <laughs> yeah. That they it's like an it's like an abandoned strip mall that's like also an industrial building. Yeah, they clearly didn't have access to a bank set, so they make it a safety deposit store vault mm-hmm. thing, um, and so they uh, before they rob it, Henry Rollins walks in to oh yeah the the vault is closing down, so they're calling in all their customers to come get their shit. Yeah, and Henry Rollins is one of the customers. Um, he's very creepy, and in fact, uh, the best part of the movie. Yes, he yeah. is great. At the, the, the top of the episode, he is great. Henry Rollins is great. Right? In this. It's it's yeah. It's like Henry, this movie is a garbage fire. Um, yes, Henry Rollins gives like a legitimately interesting performance um, as this creepy murderer. Yeah. Um, in a sea of trash. Yeah, I would argue the other good thing about this movie that you have to credit the filmmakers to is the premise is fun. I like the premise because what happens is that they rob, the, the robbers come, they hold everybody hostage, and Henry Rollins just happens to be a 
horrific serial killer who murders people and cuts their eyeballs out. So sure does. it kind of becomes Die Hard, but with a serial killer. Right. It becomes Die Hard with the alien running around. Because yes. Henry Rollins <laughs> is scuttling through the vents. He's wiggling through the vents that are way too small to contain Henry Rollins. Yeah. Just dropping <laughs> yeah. down randomly. Dropping down on people like a spider. Yeah. The film tries so hard to convince us that's possible by never showing him get in and out of vents. They just show, like, open vents that are, like, one foot by three feet. And it's like, I don't think Henry Rollins can fit in that vent. But no. okay, I guess he's tombs from the X-Files. <laughs> yeah. Him just wiggling his way through. Yeah, just wiggling around. Just with the just crazy like, look on his face. Like, I want them to cut back to him just like... Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just <laughs> trying to work his it's way through there with up. barely enough room to to fit his shoulders through. Yeah, Henry Rollins spends well, he's got all right, he's got plenty of lube because he spends the movie slowly accumulating blood on him as yeah. he goes, which I I liked as well. Um but that unfortunately is not a giant part of the movie. Right, it's like he's not in it. He's like, their barely. big get. He was their big get. And yeah. he has the same screen time as, like, say, Hannibal Lecter. Like, he's in it for maybe 15 minutes total. Um, that that's, might even be generous. Yeah. So they have to have more plot in between. And mm. they don't know and what to do. it is excruciating. Yeah. It is a group of bank robbers who, again, are the, just the worst bank robbers ever. They cut... In the, in the opening of the movie, I texted Dave this as I was watching it. Yeah. Um... They they cut to the bank, back to the bank robbers, back to the bank, and back to the bank robbers. And both times they cut to the bank robbers sitting in their van. They're loading their guns, and each each one of the cutaway scenes begins with the lead bank robber saying, "We're a go in five minutes." Right. It's it's man. <laughs> it's just like the the tropiest crap. Yeah. It's shot okay. Um. It's clearly small budget the shooting yeah, but it's, it's fine micro it's budget, really yeah. the sets and the performances and i i would even argue that some of these actors are probably all right they just didn't have the resources to really like spend a lot of time on anything i don't think um, well the dialogue is trash yeah that too the dialogue is so trash. it's like it's just this real like the main bank robber turns out to say i was in the marines yeah. and then, like his his brother is the bank manager he's like i was an army ranger and i'm like all right guys i would love to talk about this plot so uh, all right first of all they go into the bank and they they're like anybody have phones and one woman puts her phone in her back pocket and that thwarts the robber <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who basically just gropes her jacket and goes do you have any phones she's like i left it in my car and they're like all right and it's like you motherfuckers have you not yeah, seen well, inside man <laughs> yeah, um, clearly this person doesn't have a phone yeah and then they go to an old lady the other hostage and they're like do you have a phone she's like i haven't carried a phone in a while and they're like all right and it's like <laughs> all right uh i guess that's <laughs> checked settled. boss they at one point and then that comes into play later when the 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 robbers are watching the hostages and they want a cigarette so they just leave the room to smoke the cigarette because the old lady complains yeah um and then they call the cops. They dial 911. And they know to hide the phone because uh, before the robbers come back into the room, they very loudly go, all right, let's get back in the room. And it's yeah. like, oh, my God. <laughs> what yeah. are you doing? Um, all right. I hope nobody in there is doing any funny business because yeah. we're finishing this cigarette. In just a few moments, we're going to be done with this cigarette. And then we're going to walk right back into that room. <laughs> So if you're doing any kind of funny business, you better not be doing it when we come back in. Yeah. So the main storyline is one of the robbers recognizes one of the hostages as his brother. Um, yeah. So he immediately takes off his mask. He just takes his mask off. And yeah. goes, well, I guess the jig is up. And it's like, no, it, no it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> Why would you do that? There well, are, that's a pretty are good hostages. mask. Yeah. I wouldn't know who you were. Yeah, but also even if you did like say like oh i think that's my brother you wouldn't just show everybody else what you look like right it's like jig is up man yeah like, you just he it's he recognizes one of the hostages and he gives up on the entire robbery well no yeah. just the mask part and then since he took off his mask all the other robbers all just the start taking of them off do. their masks and it's like these yeah. are the worst robbers these are ever. the dumbest robbers and then one of the robbers is like 58 years old yes 
Like one of the robbers looks like a science teacher. Like yes. it's like, what are you doing? What He's sort like, of Breaking Bad situation are you going? Right. What kind of divorce yes. left you in this way? <laughs> Yeah, but he's not. I don't want to. I don't want to insult the guy because he's not out of shape. He's just not in robbery shape. If that makes sense. No, he's he's just kind of he's kind of doughy. Yeah, and he's and, and, just he, not, and he's and he's like he's noticeably like twenty years older than the rest of the crew. Right. Like it's like where'd you find this guy? <laughs> yeah. Every time I saw him holding a gun, I just thought thought of Ted Cruz. You know, it's just like yeah. yeah, you're not a man who is intimidating with a gun. Right, he looked like he looked like Tubby Mark Ruffalo. Yes, and not not, not even Mark like, Tubbo. Even yeah, Mark Tubbo. Even Tubby is like not not Again, even he's not, fair. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to like shame he's this jowly. guy. Like he's, like jowly Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, well, like he's I just, would argue he just looks normal. He just looks like a right. normal person. Um, right. But he's just for that reason. He's not like tattooed. He doesn't have his head shaved. It's also like what he, he they put him in a suit because they're all wearing a suit. But it just yeah. makes him look like like he works at the bank, um, right. which isn't a bad bank robber idea. I mean, I don't want to spoil Inside Man or anything, but right. Um, but it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> like he's just not yeah. intimidating, right? It's just yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's it would it's only because like the other members of the crew are these these three guys who are like maybe 30 and they're all like they're all like they're all like handsome dudes who are in like great shape these two like super attractive blonde women who are also like in like their 30s right. and then this guy this yeah. salt and pepper dude where did you <laughs> like, get this like, guy where'd you get what is his story right because, where did right. you find him he is an expert on something right he does do something i don't remember because they I think have he's one just guy like, use the find the elevator and fix that up but that's not him right which is like yeah they like have the one the, woman crack the safes not yeah. him is he it's the just, muscle i think it, yeah him and the uh <laughs> him and the uh uh extremely australian woman yes that are, was distracting uh, i was i, didn't, I think I was, they're just i, was not I into think that. they're just uh you know extra muscle to what to help watch yeah. the hostages that's all they do yeah and and the meta reason is i think they're all friends of the director um oh probably who made um lava lantula and big mm-hmm. ass spider so that's kind of the level we're at here <laughs> he is a sci-fi original director which again nothing against it this felt overreaching a little bit um in terms of uh, something like uh, uh because again this is this premise isn't bad but it's no. treated with all the care of a sci-fi original movie, in terms of quality. Well, I, yeah, I don't, I don't even know, like, cause like Lava Lantula and like Big Ass Spider, I assume are, I have not seen either of those films. Right. I assume the scope is a little bigger. Like this is a so th- like by all intents and purposes, this should be the less challenging film to make. Right, because this is yeah, this is a couple rooms. Yeah. That's it, and you can really tell. Like the the, yeah. the uh, <laughs> skipping ahead, the the climactic ending is in a basement hallway, like a like a really ugly hallway staircase to a and basement. Then like on a roof. Is it supposed to be a roof? I thought it was well, supposed come, to be like they come, an they come out of the basement into like it's like, like a, a parking back, garage. Yeah, like a back alley. Yeah. yeah, these are all locations that like I could afford. That's the only way I can put it. Like I mm-hmm. could afford, uh, like with a few hundred bucks, maybe like talk to a right, few like security guards. Y- you and I could start filming a movie next weekend, and it would look about like this. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good way of putting it. Like <laughs> yeah. we wouldn't have Henry Rollins, probably. No, we we would not. We would probably yeah. not have Henry Rollins. In it. But if we really pressed, like we could make this movie otherwise. <laughs> Those um, those 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 aerial shots would pro- would probably cost was probably a couple stock hundred footage. bucks. That was probably stock footage. You still probably got to pay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bucks yeah. For yeah. It. Um, <laughs> the um. Okay. So I just want to go back and say the reason Henry Wall- Rollins, by the way, is going to the <laughs> going to the vault is to get his uh, stuff his out eyeballs. of the vault, which yeah. is his eyeballs. He has been depositing eyeballs into <laughs> a bank vault. Um. Which I'm kind of curious how he got them in there, because when he goes to take them out, the guy stays with him and says, I'm sorry, it's policy. And Mm -hmm. it's like, well, how did you get the eyeballs in there? Also, what serial killer 
deposits their eyeballs. They're like trophies like that. You can't masturbate in a bank vault. Well, you probably can, but he would have to go there every time. He's got to get gratification, or I guess it's religious for him. Point being, right? It, he thinks he thinks he's saving souls, so right. he's keeping. He, it's, I guess I could infer like he's keeping it in a in a spot that's safe and won't get messed with. Right. That's what floorboards are for. But they're gonna rot. Yeah, they're gonna. Well, he's got them in the liquid. He's got them in the. Yeah, I assume it's formaldehyde, but yeah. you can smell that shit. Yeah, it just seems like a weird thing for a serial killer to do. Like this yeah. man, he could just be getting money. Like I know they did the eyeballs to establish, like, without having Who to say much, yeah. he's the killer. Yeah. Um, every time, by the way, someone's shown without their eyes, because he keeps gouging out eyes as he goes, it's just them with their eyes closed with, like, red makeup, like, on a piece of cloth. Yeah. Like, it's very, it's very cheap. Um, it's, I don't know how this movie had such a, like, a clearly low budget, but also mm-hmm. Henry Rollins. Like, he must he- know someone involved. He pr- I assume so, and he, and I don't, I think you can probably get henry rollins for like 10 minutes like he You're was right. probably he was he was probably able to film his scenes in a couple of days so they he, he, yeah that's he's probably gettable yeah he's, he's probably, probably gettable, gettable for, for a few that days, yeah yeah again he does great he's a great job for yeah, if that's like, the case if he's just if he's just phoning this in for a couple days you know this isn't this isn't uh <laughs> what is he this isn't like johnny mnemonic where it's like it's real it really matters he's in that yeah. one right he sure is. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. gets killed this by Dolph Lundgren. This isn't Bad Boys Two money. Like no. he's 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 probably gotten not too much, and he still kills it with. Right. Yeah. With what I remember, like when you finally get a scene with him, I was like, he's kind of awesome in this. Does he not? Yeah. Does he not realize what movie he's in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's giving it his best. I mean, yeah, he's trying. I mean, I. I I could I could picture Henry Rollins being like because you know he's like you know he's he's kind of an older dude so he's he, I can picture him being one of those dudes like no no they they paid me so I'm gonna do my job yeah they paid him in like, beer <laughs> they they paid me to do a job and I'm gonna do it the best I can yeah um like has a has a real like dad work ethic oh yeah for sure <laughs> like, for sure I mean again yeah if you if you say to Henry Rollins we're gonna pay you this much for a couple days to give it the best you can yeah why not <laughs> um they uh so the cops get involved um uh like three cops get involved. yes well this is okay. after there's a shootout with <laughs> automatic weapons they can't afford a lot of extras they can't afford a lot of extras Luckily, so it's like it's the same three cops yeah I, I want you i want people to imagine like an enclosed strip mall like it's hard to describe yeah. it's almost like it's uh, it's almost like um like the inside of an apartment complex mm-hmm. where it's all closed off and there's a gate to get in. And so the I, I think the idea is it's supposed to be like, this is a secure facility for, for high value rich people to, to go in and out. Um, and I know stuff like that kind of exists in Los Angeles. Like uh, there's, there's like shopping areas that are more mm-hmm. gated um, in like Malibu and shit. Um, yeah. And, and people will set up newer businesses and like shitty old buildings right um but so for that reason there's like a small gate entrance and they have like two sort of cop cars and like yeah a handful of sort of cops (laughs) yeah (laughs) just sort of sitting there and this is supposed to be like an extremely big bank robbery happening um i love that when she sends she sends two cops to watch the back (laughs) two cops (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just yeah. like, hey, go around back and watch this just one. Just two exit. uniform patrolmen, and like, the, no more cops ever show up. No, well, the uh, secret, the fake SWAT team, the fake shows SWAT up. team shows up, who turn out spoilers to be part of the um, uh, 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 the cartel. They don't specify what cartel. They just say the cartel. Yeah, they just say the cartel. Um, but we're get, we're we're getting ahead of ourselves because uh, the main big robber he recognizes his brother. He takes mm-hmm. off his mask. Um, and then the cops, they, they dial 911, they text 911 and they send the cop there and she knocks on the bank and the bank robber comes out and acts like he's a bank employee, which is all well and good. Um, yeah. and I feel, I feel like you could have sent a bank employee out, but whatever he's trying to, he's like, we're closed. Mm-hmm. Um, and she doesn't buy it. And she's like, well, we got this text here. And I really liked this bit. Is she takes out her camera to show him a, a text and actually just takes his picture and goes, thank yeah. you, <laughs> and leaves, which yeah. is not 
great police work. You should be stopping the crime. But still, that's... But y- y- you should go inside. <laughs> like, you have... Right. You have probable he's be- cause. he's behaving... Like, he's behaving suspiciously, right. and you got a 911 emergency text from a phone that was located inside the business. So right. it's like, you're suspicious. We have an emergency call here. We have to come inside. Right. Like that's all there is to it. Right. But she takes his picture and just like, I think you're a robber and leaves. Right. Like, she like Nancy Drews it for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to go show this to the police, which <laughs> I am the a police. part of. Yeah. But then after she does that, the robber is just like, ah, you got me. And like later just comes out without a mask on, just like, here I am. And it's like, yeah, I guess she took your picture, but you could still say you were like a hostage or like, again, it takes very little for them to just give away their identities every single time. Well, this guy specifically. Yes. He, oh, it's yeah. the same he, guy. He, yeah, yeah, it's the he same just, fucking guy. He barely cares about keeping his identity a secret. Which is weird because we learn that he is a notorious criminal. He's um, he's Omar. He keeps robbing drug dealers. Right. He has the build of Jim from The Office. Not Jim from Jack Ryan, mind you. Jim from <laughs> The Office. I like, was thinking uh, Jimmy Simpson. Yeah, he's not, he's not a... Again, he looks... He doesn't look like the type to be constantly robbing, successfully robbing cartels because, uh, I mean, not necessarily because of his build, but more that they don't know how to make him seem like he would be doing that. Like none of them are like holding the guns very good. Um, No one, you know, they clearly didn't have anybody to like train them on set. No, nobody like know what nobody doing. in this movie looks natural holding a gun no and this is supposed to be a guy from the military right an ex-military guy who's pulled off a number of successful high-stake robberies and it's like i yeah i don't think you've ever held this gun before yeah like, he also when he goes seem out, like you don't know what to do yeah when he when he goes out to talk to the cop um He's like, look, we want a bus and we want, I don't know what else. He, he makes a medic a and a bus, bus. A bus and a medic. Because yeah. they're, the, the guy in the van, by the way, who spots the <laughs> cops. <laughs> the guy in the van. I the, forgot about him. The guy He's the other baffling the member of the team. Yes. He looks like he, looks like he, he works look- at Best Buy. He look. He looks like an old crust punk. Like he yes. looks like the singer of like an of like a old, like an eighties British punk band. He's probably friends with Henry Rollins. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but for all we know, he was he was in Black Flag, and we just don't right, realize he's prob- it. He probably is a guy from Black Flag that we just don't recognize. Yeah. Um, he's snorting coke in the van as the lookout, and the the funniest thing he does is the cops approach, and they're like, "Get out of the car." Um. And he needs to get away. He's in a van, and he needs to get away. Uh-huh. And they are distracted by gunfire. He's in a van, and he needs to get <laughs> away. He needs to get away. So he gets out of the van and starts running. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, my, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> You're the getaway driver. <laughs> It's the solution is right there. Yeah. Um, and he runs. You're behind. You're sitting in it. Yeah. He just makes a fucking break for it to get into the bank. Which I mean, I, which, he's, he's probably pretty snowblind at this point. Yeah, that's true. But he, <laughs> like, I think if it's a fight or flight response, mm-hmm. then he would drive off. It's so weird that he decides to run into the bank. Yeah. Um, and he gets shot. And so. And so he needs a medic. So so the main <laughs> robber needs a medic. And he goes out to talk to the cops. And again, he's supposed to be this like big villain. And he's like, give me these two things or we start shooting hostages. Um, and then she says something like, "Are you, are you, you're ex-military, aren't you? And he's like, you are too. She's like, it was my husband. He died in the war. And he's, she's like, man, I'm really sorry about your husband. That sucks. And it's like, you just threatened to kill hostages. Like, yeah. you are- <laughs> You are the least threatening. Well, they do. They do, they do the whole. Um, it's like a mutual yeah. respect, supposedly. Right. Mean. They do. They do that whole trope without it, like being justified at all. Like she says. Yeah. Like he says, I'm going to start executing hostages, and she's like, No, you don't seem like the type. Right. It's like, what do you? What do you mean? Right. You and don't then, know anything about him. And then she, like, at that point, he should be like, I am the type. But instead, he's like, I'm sorry about the death of your husband. Yeah. And so it's sorry like, to hear about your loss. Anyway, give us the stuff or we'll totally kill these hostages. Yeah. Bye bye. It's, oh, man. <laughs> what a film. 
this movie. Yeah. Uh, and again, right now, Henry Rollins is wiggling through. <laughs> he's just, ducks. he's scuttling through uh, uh, vents. Yeah. The first kill is he, he kills. Like John he, McClane with spider legs. Yeah. <laughs> He he cuts the femoral artery. By the way, none of all these robbers have assault rifles. None of them can handle Henry Rollins with not a, a knife. single one of them manages to get a shot off at Henry Rollins. No, and it's not like they aren't trying. Like there's moments where he's like ten feet away, and they let him get all the way up to them <laughs> before yeah. doing anything. They're really not trying very hard to shoot Henry Rollins. Yeah. So the safe cracker, he kills her first. Yeah. Um, wiggles through the vents. He kills an old lady who's taking a shit. <laughs> he kills that old lady mid shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, she shat her last. Oh, that old no. lady. And that old kills- lady. That old lady kept saying, kept calling the Australian robber a bitch in like the funniest way. The word bitch was used to like they would be like, "Shut up, bitch! Fuck you, bitch!" Like it would be right back and forth throughout it, the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I forgot about that. It's it's but- like. And, and the Austra- and what was funny is the Australian lady kept calling her an old bag. Mm-hmm. Like, she's like, yo, bag. Yeah. And then she was like, shut up, bitch. Like, she would bitch. say it in, like, this weird, embarrassed, like, way. Like, the delivery of it was right. so strange the but couple then, of times the old lady said it. Right, and she also didn't like profanity sometimes, I think. Yeah, I think that maybe that was what the purpose of that choice was. Right. The old lady um, did fine. Again, yeah, the old lady I, was fine. I would argue that everybody did fine considering what was written on the page. Yeah. I mean, I I know that these weren't top-notch actors. I'm just no. saying for doing like an indie film with Henry Rollins and I it's th- just like yeah. I'm, I'm on their side. I'm I'm on their side. They're trying to make a career for themselves. Um, I'm not saying they're all great actors, but I mean, the, this the material movie, sure isn't doing them any favors. Yeah, this, that's, so that's fair. Right. This movie does not... I don't think represent any of them as actors, mm, you know, because yeah. um, I, I just I who, who the fuck knows what this set was like. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck. What else did I have? Um, so he's ripping off the cartel and then the SWAT comes um, and they turn out to be the cartel. And so this right, is all they're the, like cartel enforcers. Yeah. This is all the plot. That's like the whole time it's happening. I'm like, isn't there a guy wiggling through your vents, killing people? Right. Shouldn't isn't there an the eyeball film? murderer? Yeah. They, I would see, this is tough. If I were making this movie, I would maybe consider the idea to cast someone more available and affordable than Henry Rollins so that that could be what the movie is about. Because since they can't have too much of Henry Rollins, the movie is kind of just about this other guy, his brother, and his cartel like yeah. rivalry. Yeah. And it's like, I don't give a fuck about any of this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see Henry Rollins stab some more people. Yeah. Um, the cartel, they go in as SWAT. <laughs> um, they set a sniper up. Finally, someone sets a sniper up. Um, and one of them gets beat up by the, by the schlubby robber. <laughs> yeah right who um ties up the swat guy henry rollins bursts from the vent <laughs> he kind of falls from the vent it's yeah. really funny yeah and the guy and he just comes lets crashing it through like a paratrooper in normandy right <laughs> and then the divorced dad bank robber points the gun at him and is just like i'm going to shoot you here i go yeah. here i go shooting here i you. go shooting again yeah I'm I s I'm gonna do it. Here we go. And then the sniper sees him in the window and just blows his head off. Yeah. And Henry Rollins is covered in blood. And what I'm curious about this because then the cartel guy who's still like secretly secretly cartel, but SWAT, um, Henry Rollins then just like cuts that guy's eyes out. While yeah. presumably the same SWAT guy is uh, in the sniper guy is watching. Cause like he has advantage of everybody. And we yeah, only, I don't know about that. Yeah, it's 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 as if there's a plot hole <laughs> in this movie. A lot like there, it's yeah. I you know what? It, I thought it was so tightly written up until this point, but you, now that you say that, I'm starting to notice there are some problems. Yeah, in this. yeah. There's a few. It's a little there's some problems here with there. the internal logic of this film. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, then the swap move in. They tur- they the scene where they holy shit the scene where they come inside the bank is so funny. Oh, it's yeah. just they just run in and yep. start shooting. It's the 
funniest thing in the world. Yeah, and then they have... Like, it looks like a paintball match. Yes. The squibs are not fantastic in this. It's um, like what... I mean, just the way that they carry themselves, too, and the way that they, they just run in, like, top speed. Oh, yeah. Like, so what police officers could be fooled into thinking this was an actual tactical unit. It's like, you're just running inside. Yeah. Well, again, they're the cartel. They're not cops, but you'd still think they were better. Well, they're, this. Pre- they're pretending to be cops. Yeah. Um, to and the then, other cops. Right. And then they, and to the other cops who are also just running in, um, right. a character we haven't mentioned at all dies. Um, the, the, the other main robber. Yeah. Who doesn't have, they have like character moments where he like, yeah, he and the main robber have a conversation and like, yeah. I zoned out. I really zoned out because it was stuff like, let's talk about your character for a second. It was like, I yeah. don't know. I don't I don't think I want to hear any of this. Yeah. I don't need to get invested in you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the SWAT turns and, per- and says they're cartel. And the main cartel guy shoots the cop, the main woman cop who we've been following, point blank in the head. Right. And I knew just from the way they shot it that she didn't die, but I also knew that that's impossible. <laughs> right, like it hits her in the neck. Yeah, and like he's he's a foot away. And yeah. it's like everybody is so bad at all of their jobs in this. Nobody is good at anything. He's point <laughs> blank from this woman and just grazes her and then doesn't notice that he grazes her and just accepts that she's dead. When yep. I, the viewer, was like, yeah, that's that's not a kill shot. I don't know how <laughs> that's not a kill shot. You were right next to her. I just know it's not one. But you ruined it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> way to go, cartel boss. Yeah, um, way to go, elite cartel task force. Right. We learned, cartel hit squad. Right. <laughs> we learned that there's cartel money, like a million. How much? There's a lot. Half. Of, uh, I think half a million. Half a million in the bank vault and that's what they have and that's like their sack they've been also slowly um opening a wall where there's a decommissioned elevator um and they're using that to escape which i actually thought that was a neat little thing that was a neat yeah idea. i didn't like I, I yeah i had that thought watching this like oh they actually came up with like an interesting idea for like well how are these robbers what's like the the ace up up their sleeve in this thing and that was yeah. kind of a neat idea it's like oh there was an old elevator that they just bricked up but it still works right and so now it's the the uh, the lady cop. She's down. Mm-hmm. Um, all the other cops are also with her non fatal head down, wound. With her non fatal head wound, the two brothers, the bank the bank employee, <laughs> and the robber are hiding. Um, and then one of the the main robber finally gets what's coming to him. He gets killed. Yeah, he gets shot a bunch by the cartel guy. Yeah. After like the bank manager tries to run for the other gun, and it's like the right. Fu- what is he says something that's really funny? He says something that's the opposite of the motivation for doing it. He's like, "I'm going to go out there," and they're like, "You're you're crazy. You can't do that." And he's like, "You don't have a family. I do." And it's like, which is even more reason not to go right. Out so there. don't do that. And, and he, he just he picks he picks up the gun, shoots it like a dickhead, and gets shot immediately in his face. Yeah, he just wildly shoots it everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so uh, then the other brother gets killed, and then and then the sniper is there, and he's like, "Execute this last guy." And the sniper's like, "Here I go, go <laughs> Here I go execute. execute you." <laughs> and then he is shot, I think, in the neck by the lady cop who isn't dead because we yeah. all knew she wasn't dead. Um, and then she, sh- I think, she shoots the cartel guy who runs off. And then, Something like that. Yeah, and he, she, he runs off with the money. Right. And now the the t- the bank employee, the brother, who was also in the army, they they set that up. Yeah, yep. The the cop is like, go get him. And he goes to get him. And they, they're they both in this basement. In this, They ride the secret elevator to this basement and have like a shootout. And, <laughs> and here comes Henry Rollins. <laughs> here comes Henry Rollins. <laughs> um, and he attacks them as well. Um, he attacks the bank employee who stabs Henry Rollins in the neck. Yep. Um, and then he they have a final gunfight in again in like a stairway, like a yeah. like I I remember there's it's like, like a, a loading dock. Yeah, it's such an ugly location yeah. where it's like they would shoot the good guy heroically pointing his gun uh, awkwardly up these steps, and behind him was like a wa- like water pipes, and it was just like yeah. this is hideous. <laughs> <laughs> this is an offensive look. Yeah. This is 
bad. Yeah. And the cartel guy goes, does the classic villain thing where he raises his gun suddenly, um, but not suddenly enough, yeah. and he gets shot in the face. And I was like, well, I'm kind of bummed right now because I don't want <laughs> this asshole to be the hero. And the camera right. moves. <laughs> And behind him is Henry fucking Rollins. <laughs> Henry Rollins appearing like the Batman. Yep. With a him. big old smile. Wide-eyed smile. Just like, ah! And just runs up and stabs him to death. <laughs> and I was just like, happy like a ending. A lot, too. Yeah. He stabs him so many times. Yeah. He's like a Cuts goblin. Cuts his dumb eyes out. Like... Like, he could feel the audience's rage at, like, how dare this movie expect us to care about this guy who we've right. spent three minutes with. Yeah, who isn't even, like, they don't start on his character. He's just the brother of the quote-unquote main character. Yeah. Um, and so Henry Rollins, he, who's at this point gotten very good at, like, quickly cutting eyes out. Yeah. Um, He gets his eyes and he grabs the, the money. And the money. <laughs> And then he, he gets walks to walk up. away with his eyeballs and his money. And I was like, good for him. Good for Henry Rollins. Iris out. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then the movie ends. Happy ending. Yeah. Um, it's never s- scary or trying to be scary. No. It's not an action film. Is this a not, thriller? No, not really. I guess. I don't know what this movie... This movie is just bad. It is a bad movie. But... Again, just if you people can tell from at least my enthusiasm, I enjoyed watching it. It's a it's a brief eighty five minutes. Couldn't get to ninety. No, and That's I'm glad it didn't credits. because it felt really long. Even oh at yeah, eighty five minutes. It it really did. I paused yeah. it at one point. And it was like really. <laughs> I'm only halfway through. Seriously? Oh man! We got how much more movie to go? Yeah, if you're on if you're on like death row. And mm-hmm. you need a last, you get like a last movie. This will stretch it out for you. This will stretch yeah. out your final moments if you want that. Um, and you get to see Henry Rollins just murder a bunch of, yeah, you just know. kill a bunch of people. Maybe yeah. it'll remind you of the crimes you committed to get on death row. And that'll be fun for you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I recommend this for death row inmates who are trying <laughs> to death manipulate the inmates. passage of time. We're trying to make time last longer. Yeah, I'm sure there's other people who would enjoy this. If you like a good, bad movie, it's just... Uh, yeah. I I mean, there's Henry Rollins' performance is fun. There's some, right. there's some fun kills in it, but on the whole, this is a very dull Yeah, the kills movie. were fun. I did like the bits with the, the eyes and the old lady and the blood. There was yeah. a lot of blood. Yeah, a lot of fake blood. Yeah. Um, it really, I think this movie would have been, I want to say twice as good if they could afford to make the plot only about Henry Rollins stalking them. If it became a situation where, cause again, good premise, the idea that it's like the cops are outside, so we can't leave. So we have to try to continue our plan. Meanwhile, we're getting picked off one by one yeah. by this guy in our ducks um this disturbed dude who's cutting eyes out for jesus mm-hmm. um <laughs> like that's he calls himself for a reverend. the lord yeah he calls himself a reverend i don't I don't think he's a reverend but no probably not i guess you could get our dan online i think i did it once so maybe mm-hmm. he is. oh yeah me too yeah um so yeah may, i mean maybe maybe i don't know if he's conducted any weddings um or anything like that uh I yeah mean, I don't know. We don't know what his uh, congregation is like. That's true. That's very true. Um, yeah, I, it's it's like it, uh, the premise is good. It's a waste of a premise because I remember when I was looking at the two films we were tasked with, this mm-hmm. definitely seemed like the more interesting premise of the two. Yes. Um, had I not read the Rotten Tomatoes reviews, by the way, audiences gave this, I think, a 12%, so they were a little more generous. Um I wouldn't have, I would have assumed this might have been an interesting, like a fun movie. And then the Mm -hmm. moment it starts, the moment they get out of that, like stock footage of LA, it was just like, oh no. (laughs) Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, we're in trouble. I feel like they can barely afford this van that they're using. (laughs) This van that is, it it can, I don't, I don't think this van is drivable. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 
absolutely. It is a very cheap movie. And once you realize that, you're like, I don't think there's going to be a lot of Henry Rollins in this. And then, yep. and then, I don't once, think we're going to see him a lot. Yeah. Once it's like, this guy is my brother. We were in the military. It's just like, oh, no. Why? No. <laughs> no. So why is this the movie? Yeah. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> Jesus. This was. Mm. Yes, I don't know. Would you recommend this to any specific people or? No. Okay. Honestly, it's 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 not fun for me. It's not fun enough to watch in a group of friends. Definitely, this is not a movie to watch by yourself. Yeah, I know. It was a bummer to watch by myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, may yeah. uh, maybe with a group of friends. Um, probably uh, has to be the right group of friends because, like we said, it's kind of it's not over the top Mm -mm. it's not wacky it's not ironic it's just sort of poor quality in ways bad movie right but in ways that are funny if you're paying attention where it's like why did they do that oh they clearly couldn't afford this oh they'd only have three extras why is that guy a bank robber you know like it's little things that are pretty funny um but you kind of you kind of have to make the effort if you're casually watching this you'll just shut it off and you know yeah absolutely yeah and i'm certainly never gonna watch it again um yeah i think that's all yeah i don't i don't have anything else to say about that yeah that's fine it's uh it's uh not a good movie not a no no (laughs) definitely not one probably will not be added to the uh register of uh notable works or whatever that is sure probably won't make that list what would you say is the best henry rollins movie um how where does it rank in henry rollins movies i don't know um, i haven't seen too many really the chase might be the best one yeah it's probably the chase right yeah, yeah. i haven't seen the other option he never died which i think has gotten better reviews uh-huh um johnny mnemonic i guess he was in heat i just looked him up didn't know he was in heat yeah he's briefly in heat oh he's been in a lot yeah he played Robot Man in Batman: The Brave and the Bold, whatever that sure. means. He's yeah, done a, a lot of yeah. He's done a lot of um, a lot of voices. He was on the Drew Carey show, so there's that. And yeah, yeah. He, man, I think I think we nailed it with the chase. I mean, yeah. I guess he it is might probably be the, chase. the best movie he's been in technically. Oh, yeah. he was in Jack Frost. What what's going on? Henry Rollins. Wait, which Jack Frost? The one, not the horror movie, the Michael Keaton uh, movie. Jack the Michael Frost. Keaton one. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to <laughs> with, s- watch that with, now. With the snowman that was clearly made back when George Clooney was the yeah, lead. Yeah, the George Clooney snowman. <laughs> the George Clooney snowman. What a film. <laughs> <laughs> Who I believe it was an episode of had this get made. Point this out. Clooney didn't do Jack Frost to go do Batman, and Michael Keaton took his place. Which is wild. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, yeah. <laughs> That's a weird Batman switcheroo there. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Everybody watch Jack Frost um, with Henry Rollins. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it, but I bet it's better than this. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain. Willing to bet on it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, special thanks to Andrew McGuire. Yeah, for definitely showing us a movie that I would have not had seen. Nope. Um, I'm kind of thankful I saw it, to be honest. Uh, but it, yeah, I'm glad I know it's out there. Yeah, I'm glad I know it exists and that I can talk about it. Um, but I'm certainly, uh, yeah, never again. <laughs> <laughs> once is enough. Once is enough. The last heist. Once is enough. That should have yeah. been their tagline. It's like an Aronofsky film. Yeah. I'll, I'll rewatch Aronofsky films, but no, no I get, I get you. I get you um, <laughs> guys. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Thanks um, so much for uh, listening to us. Talk about this piece of shit movie. Yeah. And like we said, this is part of our Patreon. So if you're interested in getting in on that, check out mm-hmm. patreoncom slash gamefully unemployed along with uh, a tier with, we just watched. We have exclusive podcasts like Tom and Jeff watch Batman and Fox mm. Mulder is a maniac. Mm, mm, um, mm. They're delightful shows. If you haven't yeah. watched them already or listened to them already, check them <laughs> out. You watch them. You watch your, your radio or sound device emit. Yeah. The stare at your phone as the yeah. little wavy forms go up and down. Mm-hmm. There's a secret message in there. If you pay attention. Yeah. 
the secret message is uh watch the chase yes watch the chase and that the eyes watch are the jack windows frost. of the soul watch yeah. jack frost yeah watch jack frost <laughs> that's i think that's the takeaway we can get from this episode eyes of the window to the soul watch jack frost yeah um we also got a store tpublic.com slash store slash gameplay and employer you can get all sorts of shirts probably that's going to be a shirt now eyes <laughs> 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 the windows of the soul watch jack frost oh man we can't make a shirt every every goddamn week <laughs> We can, though.